What? 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 Breaking news! Mario Barrios comes out and say, hey, Javante Tank Davis did the same thing to me. He hit me with a rehydration, rehydration, rehydration clause. All right. Now we know. Hindsight is now 2020. I asked myself and I, and I asked you and, and everybody in the war room and this community and all of boxing. How is it that Javante Tank Burris hit Ryan Garcia with a rehydration clause, but not Mario Barrios when he moved up to 140? But he did! <laughs> okay, now let me give my analysis of this. I mean, you cannot help but to think, is that the play? Is that the play? Do you dehydrate the fighter and then knock him out with a body shot? To the body by Barrios. Oh. Barrios is down! Left hook, been able to get in. Another left hook and a right hand by... And now... Oh! Weaken him through the negotiations. His body is now weakened. And then you go straight to the body. I mean, that could be the case. When you looked at that Mario Barrios fight, Mario Barrios was ahead of Javante Tank Davis. But then everything went... <laughs> right around the 7th, 8th, something like that. Javante starts smoking. Well, with the rehydration clause, Mario Barrios, he moved up to 147 right after that. So not only could he not... You know, he was, you know, had the rehydration clause. He was actually too big for 140. So he's too big for 140 and the rehydration clause. So, of course, okay. Okay, I mean, that's the way of looking at it. You can't, that is a fair assessment. And the thing is, you know, now we know for sure Javante Tay Davis is the face of boxing. Yeah. I mean, because I guess that's what the face does. Floyd Mayweather. Manny Pacquiao. Rehydration clause, uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez, rehydration clauses off the ass. Uh, now Javante Tank Davis, rehydration clauses off the ass. And, and it's not fair because Mario Barrios was the champion, a regular champion there. But he wasn't the A-side, okay? But the what makes it really not fair is out of the three, Javante Tank Davis, Mario Barrios, and Ryan Garcia, only... Javante Tank Davis has been known for missing weight. Missing weight. Those are the facts. Mario Barrios isn't known for missing weight. I'm not sure if he ever did. Ryan Garcia never. It was Javante Tank Davis who was missing weight. I think he missed weight like three, four times or something back in featherweight and stuff like that. Leo Santa Cruz moving up. Did they hit Javante Tank Davis with the rehydration clause? No, he never had to do that. And it was him who was missing weight. Uh, Hector Garcia, you get it, right? Moving up to fight uh, Javante Tank Davis. He's the one who missed weight routinely, and he never had a rehydration clause on him. It just doesn't seem fair. I'm not going to take too much credit from Javante Tank Davis as far as his wins because that's the play. That's boxing. They signed the contracts. He's winning the fights, uh, He at least those two with the bigger guys. During the negotiations, I just washed my hair, so my hair's dripping. But that's part of the game. I mean, it, it's uh, it's hard to, to blame Javante, but what you can do is, with hindsight being twenty twenty, you can kind of look at the whole thing, right? You can look at his contest now with a finer microscope, the way we do with Canelo Alvarez, the way we've done with Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pac-Man, Pacquiao, all those boys. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. Uh, do you guys, how you guys feel about, I would love to know what you guys think. Javante Tank Davis, he's still credited for the wins, of course, but now you can kind of like see things a little bit clearer on how he approached fighters who's bigger than him and how he approach and how fighters who are smaller than him approach him. No matter what, let's go to war. Show biz the dope. Let me know how you feel in the comments below about this. This is huge. I'm out. Huh.